We have just discussed how to use such powerful search utility as find and I have demonstrated you how you could easily and fast find necessary files and folders. Now let me explain you how to use archive and compress utilities like tar and jzip. Let's first have a look at help for such command as tar. Type tar and here will be dash dash help. And you'll find a bunch of different options that this command has. And if I'll scroll to the beginning of this output, I'll see that this tar utility saves many files together into a single tape or disk archive and can restore individual files from the archive. It means that the main purpose of this tar utility is to create archive. And archive is simply a set of files and folders located in single file. And the such archives have usually extension tar, tar. And this utility has a lot of different options uh, like C create new archive, T list uh, contents of the archive, update, uh, extract and so on. There are many many different options but of course you don't uh, need to memorize all of them. Most common operations with the tar utility are creation of the archive and extractions of the files from the archive. Also using uh, such option as T, you are able to list contents of the archive. But please notice that by default uh, with uh, just uh, C option for example, you will not create compressed archive. You will simply create a tar file that will contain other files and folders. And if you want additionally compress this archive, you could either use additional option with tar file that is dash Z option. Or you could use another utility, jzip. Let me show you help for this utility, jzip dash dash help. And if you'll scroll up, you'll find information about this utility. It compresses or uncompresses a file or files. And you could create the archive using tar command and afterwards compress that archive using jzip utility or you could use simply dash z option inside of the tar utility that will create the compressed archive automatically. And please note that uh, such compressed archives will have uh, following format archive.tar.jz and that means that uh, First archive is created with extension .tar and afterwards this archive is compressed using jzip utility and additional extension .jz is added. And that is the most common format of archives in Linux. And usually when you download some files, Linux files from internet, you download them in compressed archived format. And you'll see exactly such extension as .tar.jz. And of course, using tar utility, you could easily uncompress and extract files from such archives. Alright, that is a short description of those two utilities. There are of course other compressed utilities like zip that is very popular in Windows systems, but jzip is most popular choice for Linux-like systems. That's why most common extension that you will see is tar.jz. Alright, next let's dive a bit into practice and let's create some archives and compress them. I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.